Hello everyone and welcome along to this video where we are taking a look at the clubs inside the bag of Englishman Justin Rose. Now we know uh, Rose has been a tailor-made staffer for 20 years, he then signed a multi-year uh, 10 club deal with Homer at the start of 2019 but at the start of 2020 uh, we noticed that a lot of the Homer clubs in his bag were disappearing and then it was announced in late May this year that he had parted ways with Homma and that made him a free agent in terms of the equipment he was using so he could play whatever he chose which makes it always a really interesting prospect to see what clubs these players are using when they're not contracted to do any number of clubs in different areas of the bag. So we're going to go from driver all the way through to the putter, uh, looking at the clubs inside the bag of Justin Rose, starting with the driver. So the start of last year when Rose was using Honma equipment, he actually won in his second start using uh, that equipment with the Honma TW747 460 version of the driver. Um, but then at the start of 2020, he switched into the TR20 460 version. Um, but he only used that for a few events because obviously now we've mentioned he split with Honma and he's now back with the TaylorMade driver. And it's the TaylorMade Sim, so the latest model for 2020. I've got a version of it here. Now Rose has it in 8.5 degrees and he has a sliding weight in the centre of the track. So a lot of players favour that just because it gives them uh, the maximum amount of feedback as to where the strike is. They're not having a shot shape bias either way. They like it neutral and therefore they know that they are able to shape the ball both ways. He's got it in the Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 70 TX shaft. And given that Rose has been a tailor-made player for so many years, this was probably one of the most comfortable switches he's had to make uh, back into tailor-made uh, equipment. And the driver, uh, we know he's a prolific driver of the ball, both in terms of distance and accuracy. And clear, he hopes this will deliver that for him. Now, even when Justin Rose was a Homer player, he was still using tailor-made fairway woods, specifically uh, the M6 model in both a three wood and a five wood. Um, but at the start of this year, post lockdown, he's come up with some new equipment for 2020. So he's got the tailor-made Sim Max fairway wood in 14.5 degrees. He's got it in the Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 80TX shaft, and he's got it lofted down at 14.5 degrees. So that says to me the fact that he's using the slightly larger max model and a slightly lower loft this is going to be a club he's mostly going to be using off the tee uh, to give him a bit more distance compared to his five wood and be not too far short of his driver so maybe that's a club that's just going to give him a little bit more control on those tight holes where he's still looking to hit, advance the ball quite far his other fairway wood is uh, not a tailor-made it's a cobra king speed zone tour now he's got it at 16.5 degrees he's got it in the mitsubishi diamana d plus limited ATTX shaft again. And having done the big golf monthly fairwood test for 2020, I can tell you categorically that the Cobra King Speed Zone Tour, while it still delivers good distance, is one of the most compact, smallest fairwoods you can get down behind the ball. So it really is designed for the eye of the tour player who's not really looking for forgiveness, they're looking for workability and also a good element of distance. It is quite a low spinning fairwood, um, offers Normally, in normal circumstances, quite a penetrating flight, but the fact he's got it lofted up at 16.5 degrees means he should get some decent height and stopping power into those long par fours and par fives. So I think those two will work really well together. One's a really strong option off the tee, while the other one is a really good option off the deck. Right, okay, so we're moving on to the irons of Justin Rose. And at the start of this year, when he was still contracted to play Homer equipment, he was using uh, the new TR20B model, so B standing for blade. And I've got to say, they look really, really smart. But obviously, since they've parted ways, uh, he's gone back to a set that he used previously, and it is the tailor-made P730 I've got here. This is the brand's kind of smallest, most compact muscle back iron. And interestingly, um, TaylorMade did make a Rose Proto version of this iron that he used back in 2018, but he's gone back to the more retail version, which I've got here. So the ones that you and I could buy off the shelf. He's got them in the uh, Project X 6.5 shafts. And um, this is an iron designed mostly for feel and workability. So he's not looking for distance, obviously. Uh, he's got this clubhead speed in his locker, so he's not worried about that. He's looking to really shape the ball and get the ultimate in precision. And clearly he feels like uh, this muscle back is gonna deliver that. It's one he's been comfortable with because he's used it before. And uh, we know his ball striking is second to none, one of the best ball strikers on tour. So clearly he's hoping that these irons will deliver some accuracy for him.
Right, so moving on to the wedges in Rose's bag, and uh, what's clear from the choices that he's made previously is that he likes the look and feel of a raw wedge, so a wedge that will rust gradually over time. We saw that with his Homma prototype wedges last year. Uh, they did have an element of rust on the back of them, and this year he's moved on to the Titleist Vokey SM8 raw wedges, so uh, they will gradually rust over time, and maybe that will provide with a little bit more spin as the rust increases. Some people say you get a bit more friction there, uh, he's got them in a pretty standard kind of spec and set makeup. So he's got the 52 uh, in 12 degrees of bounce in that full sole grind. So using mostly on full shots. He's then got the 56 degree uh, in eight degrees of bounce in the M grind. So it's a little bit more heel and toe relief to just give him a bit more versatility. And then he's got the lob wedge in 60 degrees and he's got this in down at six degrees of bounce, but he's got it in the K grind, which is the wedge I use as well. So what you'll notice with the K grind is it does have a much wider sole. So that's really effective out of bunkers. It just makes it a little bit more forgiving through the turf on chip shots. So even though it is quite low bounce, the fact that the sole is quite wide should make it easier to skid along the ground rather than dig down into it. And clearly Rose is a very good chipper of the ball, so he's gonna be utilizing that to really good effect this season. So now we're moving on to the flat stick of Justin Rhodes, and he uses quite an unusual model, I would say. It's the Axis One Rose prototype. Uh, this is the Axis One Rose model that's been launched at retail, so it's similar to the one that he uses. And we spoke to Rose about this putter uh, back at the start of the year. He feels like he loves how the shafts basically intersects with the sweet spot of the putter. So he feels this putter is really well balanced and that it just feels a lot more smooth during his stroke. Um, you'll notice that his putter he uses out on tour has a slightly different um, front section to the one found at retail. So it's a slightly lighter color. Maybe it's a different metal. We're not exactly sure. And potentially gives him a slightly different feel to the retail version. Um, he also uses a slightly different grip. This is the stock grip that comes with this Axis One Rose putter, but Justin Rose uses a Lamkin flat cat. Um, you'll instantly notice it with that bright lime green color. And what this uh, grip essentially does is it allows Rose to feel the orientation of the club face because it works in parallel plane with the club face. Um, you're able to feel the relationship between the two and give you more control over square in the face at impact. And it also helps Rose use the grip the way he likes to hold the putter. So he uses that saw grip, um, which we've seen him use a devastating effect down the years. So the shape of this with the wide front section allows him to get a good firm hold of the grip using that saw method. So. Um, an interesting combination um, with the unorthodox head and the uh, Lampkin flat cap grip clearly working for him and he combines it with the tailor-made TP5 golf ball. Interesting fact about Justin Rose's golf ball is that he uses the number 99 in gold writing. That's because obviously we know Justin Rose won the uh, Olympic gold medal back in 2016. Uh, at Rio de Janeiro and the number 99 comes from the fact that his wife's lucky number is number nine so he wanted to put two nines on there just to give him extra good luck. Uh, so guys that concludes our look at the uh, Justin Rose what's in the bag for 2020. Hopefully it gave you a good insight into what uh, the Englishman uses and hopefully fingers crossed he'll see a return to form uh, this year with his new set of clubs. But that's all from me from Fox Hills Golf Club here in Surrey. It's goodbye I'll see you next time.